everyone, welcome to Love and Life's Journey. I'm Chantel. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe by hitting that subscribe button and also the bell when it appears so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Today's video is the third in a series that I'm doing for this modular mail center. And the first two videos were um, about how to make the mail pockets and the chalkboard and the supply caddy and I will link the first video in the series in the card above so that you can check that out. Today's video, I'm going to be showing how to make these small little pockets that you can store uh, things like scissors, pens, pencils, stamps, um, dry erase markers, anything you might need for this mail center. And I wanted to show you also how you can make a menu board or a message board um, and it's like a dry erase board and I will also have the printables for these designs in um, my description box below you can find the links to download those but let me show you how easy these components switch out so in my first two videos uh, I explained how I use the command velcro picture hanging strips to put these up and so when you go to take one off, it's just Velcro and you're just removing it and the strips stick to the wall and then you can just put your new one up, line up the strips, stick it on and then you can just write on this with a dry erase marker. Um, this is the menu board, but you could use this for just memos or messages um, and you could change it up to whatever purpose you need it for. So I really love how versatile this is, how you can switch things out. If you find you're not using one that you thought you might, you can make something different and put up there and you don't have to replace the whole thing. So I hope you like this project. Let's jump in and I'll show you how to make these little pockets and the uh, dry erase boards. For the little pockets, I used these three and a half by five inch frames from Dollar Tree and I'm going to make three pockets. So I got one. I will just be using some foam board to create these little pocket on the front of the frame. Then I'm using the same white spray paint, the heirloom white from Rust-Oleum and the uh, truffle colored chalk paint from Waverly and this is the same that I've used on all the other pieces and also some clear coat spray and then I'll be using some of the jute twine you can get this at Walmart or at Dollar Tree and these are for the little flowers on the front of the pockets for the first step I'm just going to measure how high up I want my pocket to go and I'm going to write down that measurement and then I will also measure um, the width of the inside of the frame because I want my pocket to fit right inside of the frame. Once I have my measurements, then I'm going to cut a strip of the foam board as wide as the inside of the frame. And then I'm just going to cut all of my pieces for the front and the sides and the bottom of the pockets out of this one strip. Here I'm just cutting the front pieces for my pockets. Then I'm going to cut some narrower pieces that are going to be the same height as the front, but they're only going to be um, about an inch or so wide and that's how far the pocket is going to stick out from the frame. So I'm cutting two uh, side pieces and then I'm cutting an extra piece that I'm going to make the bottom of the pocket.
Then I'm just going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to glue the sides uh, to the front piece. The third piece I cut is going to be too big, so I trimmed it down to fit inside, and uh, so I had to trim it both lengthwise and widthwise so that it would fit perfectly inside on the bottom of the pocket. Once that's trimmed, then I just took and glued that inside the bottom of the pocket with my hot glue gun. Then I just repeated these steps and made two other pockets so that I had one for each frame. The next step is to spray paint uh, my frames and my pockets. These are actually pieces from a different component of the mail center, but it's the same thing. I sprayed it with several coats of the Heirloom White Rust-Oleum spray paint. Once the pieces were painted and dried, then I just took some of the Waverly Truffle Brown chalk paint, and like in my other videos, for the other pieces, I just took my paintbrush and put a very little bit of paint on it and dry brushed just a little bit of the brown paint onto the frame in various places and that makes it look like it has a, an aged finish on it. If you get a little bit too much paint in an area, once it's dry you can just take a little bit of sandpaper and sand just a little bit off and it will look just fine and blend right in. And then I also take a little bit of the brown paint and just put a few strokes across the glass part to make it look aged as well. Then I took my clear satin sealer and just gave all of the pieces a, a light coat of that. Assembling these is really easy. You're just going to place the pocket on top of the glass and it should fit right inside the frame. And I'm just going to take my hot glue and glue it right to the glass and the edges of the frame. Then I'm going to take the jute twine and I'm going to make some of these really cute jute flowers. I learned these from Kelly Barlow on Kelly Barlow Creations and I will put a link to her channel below in the description box. If you haven't watched her videos, you should um, check her channel out. She has some really creative ideas. But you're just going to make three bundles of twine by wrapping them around your fingers uh, several times. I think I went around four times for each bundle and then just take another piece of twine and tie it and um, then you take your three bundles and glue them on top of each other, um, offsetting them so that once they're glued together, it looks like a flower. And you could glue a button or other embellishment in the center of this. A lot of times I do, but this time I decided to keep it simple and I just left them plain. Then I'm just taking one of the flowers and gluing one to the front of each pocket. And that's all there is to making these little pockets for storing pens and pencils and stamps and things. And I did not use anything different than the hangers that were already on these picture frames to hang them up. However, they do want to swing a little bit and not hang straight all the time. So I might add some sticky tack or a command strip to it. Next, I'm going to show you how to make these dry erase menu or message boards. For these, I'm using the same 8x10 frame that I used for all of the other larger components. These are the ones that have the mat inside of them. Um, it makes the glass area actually a little bit larger. 
I'm going to remove all of the contents and I'm just going to spray the frame and the mat with the same heirloom white spray paint that I used for everything else. And when you're spraying the mat, make sure that you do thin coats on this because the mat is just made out of uh, like cardboard or paper. And if you spray it too thick, then it gets wet and wants to bubble up or um, wrinkle. And I don't actually have video footage of this, but once these were all painted and dried, then I just did the same technique I used on all of the other pieces with dry brushing that brown color of the chalk paint on them to make them a look aged. And then um, I did not seal the mat, but I did seal the frame with that sealer. And then I just assembled it just like you would a regular picture. And that way with the glass on top, you're able to write on it just like you can a whiteboard and it just wipes right off. The last step is to put on your command picture hanging strips and you do have to add some foam core board on this and I will link the video above that has the step-by-step -step instructions for doing this. If you would like to use my printables for these menu and message boards, you can find the links in the description box below to download those. And I just got the little dry erase markers from Dollar Tree that have the eraser right on the end. And those are in my little pocket that I made. And they're just right there, easy to use. And the eraser is right there as well. Well, I hope you like this project and this video series. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and lets me know that you are liking what you're seeing. So uh, there is another video, at least one more, that I will be doing on this. And when my mail center is complete, there will be two more uh, components up here that are this size. However, I am going out of town this week to a conference. I'm going to Branson, Missouri, and so I won't be able to do any videos this week uh, as far as DIY projects, uh, but I am considering doing a vlog. I thought that might be kind of fun to do of my trip. I've never done that before. If you would like to see a vlog of my trip to Branson, uh, please leave me a comment below and let me know. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and remember to hit that bell when it pops up so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks again for watching and God bless.